When it comes to the memories that just stay in your head, most of them stay there because the thing that happened, you can, if you tell it to somebody, they say, yeah, yeah, I get it, that's, that's a major event or that's beautiful or this or that or whatever. But there is this category of memories that are there that it was just odd. Whatever the situation was just completely odd. And I don't know, that, that made them stick. And so there's this one from way back when I was a kid, I was out with my mum shopping and um, we're by the greengrocer. So of course, you know, you have all the uh, crates arrayed in front and everything. And I must say, I didn't like shopping. I hated shopping <laughs> because um, I have to say that when I was shopping with my mum, I'll just give an example that her movements were very erratic. So it was just, she'd just go to this thing and then she'd go to that thing. Then she'd go back to this thing. Then she'd come here and go that just like I'm zooming around left and right. And I just be, I couldn't stay long enough to, you know, look at things or I don't know it, but I, I have, you know, you're out there shopping anyway. So I'm there and I'm just standing. I don't know what I'm thinking. And she's talking with the greengrocer. And then this kid comes up and he, he just throws a strawberry in the guy's face and he just mash, mashes on his, on his cheek and then runs off. And that's it. You know, the guy is angry and he's shouting something, but it just, to throw, a, why would you throw a strawberry? I don't know if that, I don't know if that was his son. I don't know if it was, I just have no idea. I never saw the kid again. I mean, we went back to the greengrocer many times. But I never saw that kid again. Um, but that image of this soft strawberry, you know, flying and smashing into <laughs> somebody's face. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure the guy almost had, uh, he could have had a nervous breakdown from something like that. I don't remember what my mum said. I don't remember discussing it. But that image just stays forever and ever. And it's an image that, for example, this whole idea of talking about things I see, uh, for storytelling, it's all of these things. These are the source material for bits and pieces of other stories. And um, when I've told funny stories and stuff, once in a while I've brought up the idea of being, uh, I had one where there was this guy who was very pompous and he was um, orating on stage and they threw mushy fruit at him. And his whole issue was that it's not so much that the fruit was thrown at him, it was the fact that the fruit was mushy. And that's what infuriated him. Uh, I just often imagine uh, politicians <laughs> during the, on the campaign trail sort of waffling on and on and people express their dissatisfaction with barrages of mushy fruits. I haven't seen that happen yet. Sure, the politicians would be very angry. I think eggs, sometimes you do get eggs. Anyway, but the thing is that look, that was just, that's, I don't know why I still see it. It's so clear. Um, this random act of uh, <laughs> being attacked with a mushy strawberry. Yeah. <laughs>